triple crochet um, you'll need to start off by creating a chain of 13 um, so you can just quickly pause the video and then carry on with me once you've got your 13 chains okay so for the triple crochet it's very similar to the double crochet except that you're adding on an extra loop so with the double crochet we looped over once like that that's having two loops on the hook at the beginning but now with the triple crochet we're going to loop over again so now you've got three loops on your hook like that okay so it's easy to remember double is two and triple is three and then we're going to go into um, not um, the third chain from the hook, but the fourth chain. Okay, your turning chains will always be three with the double, uh, with the triple. So yeah, you can just go right into your fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four, right here. Okay, we're going to insert our hook like that. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, now you've got four loops on your hook. So now we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through two of those loops. Now you've got three loops on your hook. And now we're going to yarn over again. Pull through two loops. Now you have two loops on your hook. And last time we're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. And there you've got your triple your first triple crochet okay now we're gonna do that again so we're gonna yarn over twice three loops on your hook and then you're gonna go into the next chain insert yarn over and pull through four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two three loops, yarn over, pull through two, two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two and there you've got your second triple crochet as you can see that's what they're looking like I'm going to show you again one more time how to do it so you're going to yarn over twice okay? insert your hook through the next chain, yarn over and pull through four loops, yarn over, pull through two, got three loops, yarn over, pull through two again, two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. And so that's what it should be looking like now. As you can see, they do have a bit of a gap between them as when they're new, but then the more you add, the tighter they will become and that's what they start to look like um, so you can go back a couple seconds and rewatch how to do those otherwise you can carry on till here meet you back here and we'll have done 10 of these triple crochets when you get here okay so we're coming up to the 10th and final triple crochet for this row so just finish that off Okay, so that's what it should be looking like now. Just pull that up. Okay, so that's what your first row should be looking like. Okay, so again, we're not counting chains as stitches. Those are just turning chains. So we're counting. If you look at the top here, you've got your V's again. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and as you can see, they uh, become very nice, long, and soft um, pillars between, like that. Okay, so now for your second row, you're going to be chaining up three. Okay. So we count chain one, two, and three. That is your turning chain and will not be counted as a stitch as I've explained in the past. 
So now we're going to turn our work again, like for working from right to left. I'm going to yarn over twice for your three loops on the hook. And you're going to work in the top of that very end stitch. Okay. So this one right here, we're going to work right into the top of that. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over pull through two okay so that's the start of your second row doesn't look quite neat very now doesn't look very neat right now but it will as you carry along so again we're gonna yarn over twice insert at the top of the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, it's your second triple crochet done. Again, we're gonna do two yarn overs and then insert at the top of the next stitch. Again, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that's what it's looking like now. Um, so you're just going to carry on like that up until the end of row 2 and I'll meet you back there with the 10th triple crochet for row 2. Okay, so we're coming up now to the 10th triple crochet for row 2. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like now. Okay, with your 10 there and your 10 there. Um, as you can see it does start to neaten up so the more rows you have the tighter these will become and the neater they will look okay so yeah you can just carry on and we're gonna for this one we're gonna do five rows um, so again you'll just want to keep a count okay so we've done two rows so far okay so just keep a count until you've got your five rows and then I will show you how to finish off your triple crochets okay so we're coming up now to the tenth and final triple crochet for row five okay so that's what it should be looking like now, like that, okay. As you can see the triple crochet is a lot looser than the others and that's just because these are so, um, so much longer. Um, but that's generally what it's supposed to be because it's mainly used for like a textured effect. Um, okay, so yeah, five rows are done. And you can again just double check and these rows are very easy to count um, because you can sort of see where they one ends and the other begins. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So now we're just going to finish it off the same way we've been doing with the others by chaining one. Okay, uh, leave a nice long tail and cut free through and tighten like that okay now we're gonna just take our needle and thread it okay and then um, so now you don't want to just jump straight down to that bottom there because it's just gonna end up again having a loop and not look very nice so we're gonna work our way down there so we're going to put it through like that, okay, and then we're going to just put it through the bottom of that same stitch. Like that, okay, and we're just going to push it through the bottoms of these stitches. Okay, like that, and pull 
pull through and then just straighten it up like that so you can see it's nice and hidden in there that's why I always do it at the bottom stitch because then it hides itself amongst the tops of those stitches at the previous row okay um, now you're just gonna pull it tight and cut free like that and there now you can't even see it and there's no loop to accidentally pull out because you went through the top okay so now for this one because you're going again you're going to go through that chain okay and then you're going to go out like that this one's done a little bit differently to the top because of the chain and the position that it's in okay so now you've got it over here now you're going to push it through these bottom well through the tops of these stitches this row okay and then just Push it through and make sure you're going right through the stitch and not going out on the other side. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like. And then you pull through and just straighten it out. Okay. And then pull tightly and cut free. And there you go, that is your sample of your triple crochets done. If you'd like to watch the full lesson, you can do so by clicking here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.